The human whose name is written in this note shall die. Sounds too crazy to be true. So, according to this notebook, if I write the name of this news anchor down, he'll die. Let's see if this works. Welcome to the Nightly News, and I'm Richard Donegan, your charismatic host. Tonight, we will be experimenting with a very cool magnum. Today, this is the Bismuth Model 4, capable of shooting through a solid plate of titanium steel. Uh, hey, uh, Rick, you okay? What's going on? Wait. Wait, Rick, Rick what, what are you doing, man? Rick? Rick, don't do it! Don't do it! Oh! Oh! Whoa. Holy crap. This is real. How could that be? Who are you? Hi, uh, my name is Z. I'm here to see your father. Is he home? No, uh, he's not. Uh, you see, uh, I am a investigative, uh, detective. You see, I was coming over here to see your father, the police chief, uh, when I just got a call on my radio saying that a news anchor shot himself. May I come in? Yeah, sure. So, Z, is it? What do you want anyway? Now you see, I was originally coming over here to give your father some files, but since I got this call, I thought I might discuss the case with him. So, you're the chief's son, Bryce, right? Well, I'm Z. What does Z even mean anyway? Zeke? Xander? Actually, it's more of a title. You don't need to know my real name. Besides, I wouldn't give it out anyway to anyone. Kind of makes it harder to track me down, you know? What's that? Hmm. How peculiar. Wait, don't touch that! Why don't you want me touching it, Bryce? Hmm. The human whose name is written in this note shall die. Here. This has Richard Donegan's name and the cause of his death at the exact time it happened. Either you're some kind of coroner, Bryce, or I think you might have had something to do with this. Uh, I don't, uh, know what you're talking about. Uh, um, I didn't have anything to do with his death. I was here the whole time. Trust me. Bryce, you sound guilty. This is probably your first time killing. I'm going to have to phone this into the chief, your father. I'll be back.
I'll leave this here. Evidence. You are such an idiot. Who are you? You see, my name is Tygal. I am the original owner of that note you possess. So, you're like a death god? You could say I am a death god. Well, if you were smart, you would have wrote in Z's name in the book. See, I would write Z's name in the book, except I don't know his name. Z is apparently just a title. Of course you don't know his name, you idiot. But look at the rule about the Shinigami eyes. The human who becomes the owner of the Death Note can in exchange half of his or her remaining life to get the eyeballs of a god of death which will enable him or her to see the human's name and remaining lifespan when looking through them. No! I'm not ch exchanging half of my life just to see his name. It's kind of a waste, don't you think? No deal. Oh, that deal never works out. I'll be here. If you need me. I just got off the phone with your father. He'll be in here a couple of minutes. Now, you have some explaining to do. How did you kill Richard Donegan? Look, I didn't kill Richard Donegan, all right? Find that hard to believe, Bryce. You see, Richard Donegan has always been the most charismatic and the most hopeful of news anchors. He had his whole life ahead of him. He wouldn't just kill himself on live television. Look, I'll call my friend Zeke, all right? Maybe he'll clear things up. Why don't you go ahead and call your friend, see what he has to think. Hello? Zeke, it's, uh, it's Bryce. Oh, hey, you're that fuck says Richard Donegan who slept with your girlfriend? Oh, you dude, he's dead now. You hear yourself? Dude, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Uh, that was, uh, that was nothing. You slept with your girlfriend. That was your motive. It all makes sense now. You killed Richard Donegan. You're such a fucking idiot. Shut your fucking mouth, Shinigami. You don't even know me. Who are you talking to, Bryce? Wait. You mean, he can't see you? He can't see me because you're the owner of the note, Bryce. Fucking idiot. I thought I told you to shut your fucking mouth, shut it down, me! I got an anonymous call to come here. Z? What are, what are you doing here? Chief Dallas. It's a good thing you made it here. You see, originally, I was coming over here to drop off some files for you, but then I figured out your son Bryce killed Richard Donegan, and he's clearly insane.
No, 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 no. That can't be Bryce. Chief Dallas, I know it is your duty as a police chief, also as a cop, to respect the law. You cannot allow this criminal to be let free, no matter if he's your son or not. All right, hands on the ground, right now. Get on the ground. Wait, you can't do this to your own son. I don't care that I'm your father. You're obviously criminally insane. Thank you, Z, for bringing this to my attention. I'm going to bring him down to the station. Wait, Dad, you're making a big mistake, please. No! Ah! Now that he's taken care of, I might want to see what this note's about. Gosh, that kid was so annoying. Thank you for getting rid of him. What? What did the look? I was only saying thanks. You see, Z, you are the new owner of the Death Note. We have a lot of work to do. <laughs>